easily we can see others from afar, but yet be completely invisible to our own transparency. I suppose it's an art to stand back and look from afar. However, the necessity to jump in and splash around is equally important. When one considers the power that young women want to possess, consider also that organized society projects an image that's impossible for them to attain. So their power in, in being able to wield this toy beauty is blunted and they must seek out other avenues to show their prowess. Of course, careers come to the fore because child rearing and raising a family means sublimation of their ego to a man. This, of course, destroys any possibility of showing any individuality. Many women, mostly younger, the last several generations when approaching a strange man, older or younger, will tend to act diffident, almost arrogant, because they feel fear. They feel at a loss in terms of exerting their own natural powers to fend off any type of behavior that might, in their minds of course, result. A man works by his experience, a woman by her desire. Does one's love of the artifacts in the museum suggest that they seek a simpler time that each of these objects signify to them? A woman will take on the exhausting task of furnishing conventionality with something that reflects her own inner self, whereas a man goes into the same space and merely collapses at the end of the day looking for comfort.